Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And today I am bringing you day 14 schedule and my predictions from the semi-final and the World Starts Championship from the Alley Pally. It starts from 7.30pm this evening and we're down to just four players of which two I thought would be there and the other two I didn't. Um, I've got to be honest, I see Michael, um, Michael Van Gerwen and Rob Cross from day one. But I didn't see Jamie Lewis against Phil Taylor. I thought that that would be, the other semi-final would be Peter Wright and Gary Anderson, if I'm being 100%. Well, you know that. It's no good me being honest because you've seen my other videos. So I can't backtrack on that. So um, I'm having to eat a little bit of humble pie here because I know that I actually did a video yes, uh, early on saying that Gary Anderson would end Phil Taylor's career. And obviously Phil Taylor come out. He was relaxed. He was messing about with the camera. He got a good head start. He went um, into a good lead. Anderson come back, but Taylor fought him off. Um, with good averages and different things. So, and, you know, what can I say? You then got Jamie Lewis. Unbelievable. Where it's come from, I don't know. I don't know for you guys. Um, you must have seen it on the news or whatever, where it's Jamie Lewis put a tweet out, I think, around October time, saying to everybody that he was apologising for his year and it was really disappointing. Um, and, you know, hopefully it's going to be better in 2018. He hadn't qualified for the Worlds um, for the first time since it's been with the PDC. Then Dimitri van der Berg at the same time going to win the World Youth, opened up another space. Jamie Lewis then had one final chance to go and do it. Got, won that, then got into the... Um, <clears throat> prelim games and it's just it's just crazy how things can change just shows that you just got to believe you never know what's around the corner i'm a great believer of that never it's never over to the fat lady sings as they say so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be covering their stats and different things um on each game so the first game of the evening in the semi-final as you can see is jamie lewis against phil taylor the jamie lewis yesterday he thrashed down webster five nil he had a free dart average of 101.26 and a checkout of 41.67 while phil taylor beat anderson five three with a free dart average of 102.02 and a checkout percentage of 50 percent you know Phil Taylor's on fire. I now, I now, and I'm saying it, I do believe that Phil Taylor could have this massive fairy tale ending. You know, it's it's I it, it's just everything just seems to be opening up for Phil Taylor to do it. Do you know what I mean? Whether Anderson had his bad back or not, I don't know, but so I'm not using that as that's why Taylor won, but you know, Jamie Lewis put out, put, put out Peter Wright, and now he's got Jamie Lewis in the semis. Van Gerwen's, you know, giving people opportunities this year. Could it happen? Do you know what? I think it could. I think that it could happen. I think that Taylor could get his 17th world title. So, for that reason, I think if Jamie Lewis was throwing firebombs at him, throwing the kitchen sink at him, whatever he threw at Taylor tonight, Taylor is so near now, is two games away from doing it. What I want to know is actually, guys, in this, if Taylor did win the Worlds, he said he'd go out on a high, would he be tempted to go on and do any more tournaments, being the world champion? Is he not somebody who would want to defend it? I don't know. Leave your comments below. But going back to the game, I'm going to have to go, whatever Jamie Lewis fight him tonight, Taylor's going to respond, and Taylor's going to make this final this year, the 2018 final, and he's going to put Lewis aside 6-4. We then go into the next game, which is MVG against Rob Cross. MVG yesterday beat Barney 5-4. He had an um, average of 102.91 and a checkout of 50%. Um, he was lucky. He, he, he was lucky, I think. I really do. But let me just cover Rob Cross. Rob Cross beat Dimitri Vandenberg 5-4. Free dart average 97.13 and a checkout of 38%. He was lucky. He was lucky. Did that sound a bit of a repeat? There? It is because it is. both these two are lucky to be in the semi-final this evening. Barney had chances to beat Van Gerwen and didn't see him out. Rob, um, Dimitri had chances to beat Rob Cross and didn't see him out. Two lucky guys. Now, it's difficult for me to go for this one, but I am going for MVG to win it because that's what everybody wants. Everybody's been talking about an MVG Taylor final. You know, it's... And for Taylor to smash MVG or beat him in the last one to go out and say, I'm retiring. You know, the last game he ever played, he beat MVG. Could it happen? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, 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 there's something telling me. It, it, it's all, it's, it's just going this way. It's, it's in the air. It's something happening. And I, I, I don't know why. And that is the only reason that I've gone for him to beat Rob Cross. I'm going for him to beat Rob Cross, as you can see, 6-5. If Taylor hadn't have gone through... And it had been Anderson. For some reason, I would have put Cross to beat Van Gerwen. 
I know it sounds crazy, but there's a reason why it. it's because I just think it's all meant to be. I, can you imagine the papers? And if this does, if it does really happen, it'll probably be the, it'll be, it'll just be amazing. Um, so that's where I am. I know I sound excited, guys, but it's just, I can just see it's happening. Something that I didn't think could happen is starting to happen. That is it, pretty much. So they are my predictions. Um, and, and that's it really for this particular video. I hope that you enjoy it. I, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it this evening. Please leave your comments and predictions below as always. If you like my videos, I know I'm a bit nuts at times guys, but if you like my videos, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to getting um, back to you, you know, um, replying to your comments and different things. As always guys, have a great evening and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.